at this time of the year, most of us are thinking forward to Christmas and, and preparing for the songs that we'll play for our congregations or friends or family or just to entertain ourselves. I'm working on an arrangement of We Three Kings that I plan to play for a concert here at Octave Hall in the first week of December. And although the arrangement isn't quite put together yet, I wanted to share with you the sounds that I've uh, chosen from Genesis Voices and give you some idea of how I'll combine them and create the final product. And in a couple of weeks when the arrangement's finished, I'll post that as well so you can hear the the final result. And maybe this will give you some ideas of how to use these voices yourselves in the coming season. I've decided that this arrangement of We Three Kings is going to be um, a piano arrangement. And what I mean by that is I'm going to use the piano and pianistic kind of playing as the center of the arrangement. So I've assigned the piano voice to the th Genesis Voice 3 in the swell. It's a great piano sound, and the organ is equipped with a sustain switch that allows me, by moving my foot to the left, to sustain the notes just as I would with a sustain pedal of a piano. And of course, if I don't use that switch, I can play them detached as well. Well, the one thing I'd like to have is an extra octave of notes in the bass, and Genesis Voices and this organ can even accomplish that. This organ's equipped with um, swell octave couplers, and those couplers will actuate the Genesis Voice as well. So if I take the, if I pull on the swell 16-foot coupler and the unison off stop, I get the same sound in octave lower. If I want the octave lower and the normal octave at the same time, I just use the 16 foot and now I'll get the 16 foot coupler and now I'll get the piano at 16 foot and 8 foot. Let me play it just at 8 foot and add the 16 foot coupler. And I can even add a note an octave above with the 4 foot coupler. So now, uh, with one finger, I'm playing what it would take three fingers to play. Add those couplers. It's a really impressive, great sound. Now, while I'm playing in octaves up here, I can also couple the piano to the pedal. And I can couple the piano to the grate just at eight foot. So while I'm playing with the right hand here, I can reach up and with one finger play a great melody line. Lots of versatility just with the piano. And of course the piano can be coupled to the choir as well. And if I want, I can couple the piano to the choir at eight and four, have eight, four, and 16 up here, and have just eight here. And on the pedal, I can add some pedal stops from the organ. Now I've got piano and organ stops in the pedal. I've got 16, 8, and 4 up here. I've got just 8 here. And I've got 16 and 8 down here.
that's just one of the Genesis voices. Let's add the second swell voice, that's a choir. And of course, this can be used at eight and four as well. I still have the swell eight, swell to, to choir eight and swell to choir four down here. I can use the piano and the choir together. Add the four foot. On the choir, besides the swell voices coupling down, I also have two different orchestral sounds. A low string. And one at an octave above. If I go back to the swell, turn off the, the choir voice, the, the Oz, the vocal Oz. Add that piano down here. Using the swell to great coupler, I get the swell piano down in the great. If I use the melody coupler, that couples these strings up to the great, but only, only on the top note that I hold. Let's use the same trick with the bass coupler. And now I've got the lowest note in between. I've got the piano, and on the top note, I've got the strings. Add some real punch to the bass coupler note. I've got two other Genesis voices. One, it's a synth bass, adds a little growl, and the other note is a pluck bass. And if I want to add the piano at 16 foot, I can really get some punch on the bottom. The Genesis voices that are assigned to the great are brass instruments. Wow, so now I've got a whole lot of stuff going from piano. Add the piano.
and I'm looking forward to working more on the arrangement of this tune. I'll let you know how it turns out. I hope you've enjoyed this demonstration of Genesis Voices.